Hey, Adam. How are you doing? doing? Yeah, uh, very nice good. Nice to see you. Uh, Saturday morning, everybody's a bit croaky, but I'm we're getting through the day. So, yeah. yeah, It's very dry, isn't it? Very so, um, black and blue modular. Um, yeah. What you got? We've got a quad VCF uh, with some bells and whistles and a quad VCA also with some uh, unusual bells and whistles. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the right. quad VCF is basically four identical channels. Each channel can be a Moog style ladder filter or a, a thing called a Salon and Key filter, which is like yep. in the it's Korg, Korg yeah. MS20, uh, or a state variable filter like in the original Oberheim SEM and the early Poly Oberheim. Or switchable individually. Or switchable they? individually, so each channel, each filter can be wow, any okay. of those. They can all be swept from band pass through low pass to high pass. And there's an AUX CV here, which will allow you to do that under CV control. AUX CV can also drive resonance. And there's, there are two outputs, an A and a B output, and you can actually use them as a stereo, so you can pan between them oh, under, nice. under uh, CV control as well. Uh, there are two mono uh, audio ins with attenuators and a little summing mixer, so you can do you know, a two voice, two VCs right. into one filter. Two CV inputs for cutoff. Uh, so I'm just using one. So one for an envelope, one for one an LFO, for, for instance. Oh, yeah, so. I'm just using a, a bit of uh, keyboard tracking CV here. Uh, but the cool thing is you can link any or all of these filters together. Oh, so you can run them in series so or, or parallel? They're in generally in parallel as, as standard. Uh, let's give a quick demonstration. If we make a Moog-styled bandpass filter uh, with quite a lot of resonance to keep that band narrow, you get that kind of bandpassy type sound. If we add it, basically any, any filter with the link switch on is linked into the set. So you could link this one and this one over here, but you tend to link the ones that are next to each other. So if we link in a second one, you can hear that second band. So you can have uh, shifting peaks a bit so like the... Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. A bit like the uh, uh, Iposka or the Oscar synth that has... Yeah, the exactly, yeah. yeah. Link in a third one. And then which is e whichever is your leftmost channel of the linked channels sweeps them all together. Oh, so we have a master sweep. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can get some sort of formancy type, type effects. One great thing, actually, is the SEM filter uh, halfway between uh, band pass and, sorry, between low pass and high pass forms a notch, uh, and you can get sort of phasing style effects. Oh, nice. Uh, it's, it's not so good just with a with a sawtooth going in, but with a with a, a sample or even vinyl going through. Yeah, right. You get some great and, and actually the the CV still work for the other. All oh right, other so you can filters, offset, and so you can actually move all of those notches nice. around independently. That's great. Uh, and make some really cool sounds. Uh, let me just put this back to something that I can show you the uh, VCA with. Uh, so we can make it sound a bit like a Moog filter, Moog again. So we've got a similar idea with the VCA, uh, Alpha. Four identical channels of VCA. Um, but there are two internal mix buses. Right. So any or all of the VCAs can be mixed together onto those two, two buses. So you might, for instance, use, you might say have these two mixed together on mix bus one, these two together on mix bus two, forming submixes. Uh, or you might, you know, you might have these three as a submix, and this one being used standalone as a as a VCA. Uh, or doing what I do uh, quite often, which is just to use it as my output mixer as well. So they're all on mix bus one, right. they're being my VCAs and my output mixer in one module. Right, gotcha. Uh, similar idea: two uh, two audio ins uh, with attenuators, two gain CVs with attenuators, but this time dedicated left and right out a dedicated pan control and a, and a dedicated pan CV control. There are also a couple of nice uh, overdrive modes uh, here. So if we just set a little, um, a, little uh, a little sequence going. So that's just a sawtooth into one uh, VCF. Yeah. Uh, the first, um, turn it down a bit. The first overdrive is a sort of soft valve style, soft overdrive, soft slip. You start to get a little bit of warmth in that, um, overdriving your inputs. Uh, a little bit of warmth in that sound. The second one is a hard clip, a diode based hard clip. So it's a slight more aggressive uh, distortion. 
Uh, and actually, this works really well with the Korg style filter uh, if you're into the kind of acid -y. Uh, It would work well with Korg filter. If we've got some. Ah, yeah, you get that. There we go. There it is. Excellent. And you can actually even overdrive the filter as well. It was a really aggressive set. Nice. So you can kind of get anything from a warm, yeah, sem, warm and clean to yeah. sem so sound. So these available now? They're available now. Um, What's the price? Three ninety nine in the UK uh, for each each right. one. And that's a quad, yeah. So you're getting four four filters, fully fil pretty fully featured as well. Yeah, yeah. fully featured filter, fully there featured filter. There's Called a triple F. F. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries. Thanks for coming by.